Yang aku nak kiri, dah cukup ayuh kat sini. The club is called um, Quick Inn Lounge, is in Kiambu town. And he called me and said, uh, my son, um, in Kikui we call him my son, but he's actually my brother's son, my younger brother's son, has been shot. And uh, so I went there and true, he was there, I found him lying down. So the pol police had arrived allowed to go and see the footages of what happened and it's so sad because um, I could see Anthony, uh, he was standing across the road from the back entrance of the club and we could see uh, there was some sort of a commotion now right at the entrance of the back of the club but he was across the road facing away from the entrance of the club uh, and there was an uh, altercation of guys who were uh, looked like they were fighting or there was a you know commotion and stuff like that and suddenly Anthony fell unfortunately CCTV footages don't have sound so all you, you do is you are seeing only pictures so Anthony falls down face down and uh, he lies there still so the, the, the officers were trying to go backwards and trying to zoom in at the guys who had this altercation and try to figure out who has done what. Uh, if, if, if it was a gunshot, who did it? Point, the guys you saw here are, are DCI from the head office who has informed us that they've taken over the case. So actually, they, what they are telling us they just got the file today from Kiambu, so they are like starting now. Um, yes, we heard that we had some suspects who had been arrested from the DCI Kiambu who we are going to be arranged today in court as you have rightfully confirmed.
But uh, and they are telling us they are still investigating. We don't have much information from there. This. Maybe you can share your memories about Anton. Oh, he was. What he used to do, the kind of person he was. He was a jolly young man. Very full of life. Um, having started working properly uh, less than a year ago, married with a, a two and a half year old boy and another one on the way, um, I would say he was at the peak of his life. Got in a good job. Uh, he's an electrical engineer with the American Embassy. And his friends and his brothers and his relatives will tell you, a jolly young man, very generous, generous to the core. And uh, the memory I remember of this boy is his smile. Okay, you saw, you saw that picture. That is him, always smiling, always smiling. And um, unfortunately, his life has been cut short by, we don't know for what reason, we don't know whether it was by design, we don't know, we don't know why. To believe is that God knows everything. We, we may not know, but somebody up there knows. And in Kikuyu we believe that you cannot shed human blood in vain. Never. You will pay for it. Whoever did it, whoever did it, God knows. So we leave everything to God and hope that this thing will be resolved. Uh, we will want to report about uh, a shooting incident that took place um, yesterday morning at around uh, 2, 2 that day, uh, Sunday morning. And uh, this took place at uh, a club called uh, Quikin Lodge that is in Kiabu town. Um, tragically, a 36 year old uh, man uh, was fatally shot and is now deceased. It's a tragic incident, uh, particularly to the family and the friends. Uh, because this is uh, a very dangerous death. This is something that could have been avoided. Um, basically what we are getting is that there was a scaffold right outside the club. And as a result of this scaffold, we are not sure exactly what caused it. A shot is seen to have run out. And as a result of that, uh, we've lost uh, a very young man. Uh, uh, we already now confirmed deceased. Some uh, three individuals are in custody, and we can confirm that amongst the three individuals, all male, is a police officer, a serving police officer. Uh, further to that, we can confirm that uh, a firearm has also been retrieved from the officer. It is suspected that uh, this firearm could have fired uh, the fatal shot. But this, this is something again that is under investigation. This is not something that we can confirm for now. Uh, additionally, um, we would also want to say that uh, the matter has properly been taken over by the investigative investigating agencies. We have uh, the homicide team from the, the DC headquarters who are properly briefed and in control of these investigations. Important to notice that uh, one we are talking about Amanda, this is a homicide. And uh, when it comes to investigations regarding uh, such murders, uh, the investigating agencies would require a little bit more time so that what is eventually presented before court is watertight, is credible, and it meets the, the threshold of uh, not just the investigations but evidential value. So for the officers to ask for this 
extra time is basically to ensure that uh, the right thing gets done. We've previously been accused of doing uh, short investigations, our cases get repeated or discharged in court. And this is, these are areas that we've been very, very careful to ensure that uh, they don't happen. So by asking for these days, we want to do something awesome, something thorough, and that is the intention at least for the, for the purpose of uh, attaining uh, justice. There will be no justification to continue holding the second respondent and the invitation by the I.O. to hold the second respondent for 21 days is an invitation to this court to extinguish his rights as, as envisaged and guaranteed by the Constitution. The respondent will be released on bail on terms. And if the court deems it fit to grant the application by the I.O. or the state, then we will give the opinion that at least two days will be enough for the state. And we have the commitment of the second respondent to cooperate with the investigation and with the investigative agencies. We pray that the application be, be, be dismissed and the second respondent be released on bail on terms. What I'm going to say is that I've not recorded any statement so far. What I've done is the fact of the second respondent who was at the scene, who were at the scene, is the ones are the ones I've recorded to know what they were doing with the second. There are other witnesses which have not recorded. Uh, I have not, because the time, there was time limit, I arrested the second uh, respondent yesterday. I had no time to go and search his, his house. You cannot have a right of response So you can only respond to what they have stated So I have said, uh, I won't diverge so much in terms of uh, the, the second response is so much the second response. Your Honor should not be. Any honest. response with regards to the first response? Uh, the first response has not objected that he won't. He is not uh, supposed to be in. Uh,